The Purge election year is probably the best of the series. Would you really? Would I you thought know? it was the worst. Really? That's that's surprising. I did not. I did not care for this one. It wasn't bad. It just was kind of boring to me. Uh, it's definitely boring. It's definitely. I think watching three Purge movies in a week might be pushing the limit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I felt like they did the most, and the questions that the movie put forward were the most reasonable. Like. They're actual, like, they kind of made you question, like, oh, is this right? Is this wrong? What would you do in this situation? And this is the only one. No, I agree. That has done that. It had a good, uh, premise, you know, for, for being a purge movie. Uh huh. I just, I couldn't get into it. It felt boring. Yeah. Well, I didn't really I... like the election idea. I thought that was kind of weak. Uh, that she was running to be, um, to like end the purge. Like she's going to be the president and right. ruin the purge. Oh no. See that, that was the one thing that I was on board for. <laughs> like someone actually trying to, trying to stop the purge. Right. But it, 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 it just failed well, to me. I just, I just, I had a hard time with it because. That's not how it would work. Like, you can't just... Like, Donald Trump right now could not start the purge. No. So she, would, I, the, she but, wouldn't be able to just end the purge either. Absolutely. That's that, and that was my biggest thing, right? So, first, I wonder how... How did they pitch the purge? Like, the founding fathers Ooh, or the new founding fathers. I can't wait to find how out. How did they... That's coming. That's coming this year. Oh, I know it's. I know it's the coming. First purge. I f- I feel 4th, like I what? Yeah, I I I do want to see it, and I might even go see it in theater. To be honest, because I'm <laughs> I kind of like this franchise now. Yeah, which I didn't think I would. But if I had to guess, I feel like there's gonna be some doofusy guy as president, right? As almost like a Donald Trump parody. It definitely is going to be. I mean, they already uh, who they ca- their their promotional stuff is basically the MAGA hat, right? So I, it's either going to be that's his platform and that's how he gets elected, and it's like ridiculous, or he's just like a buffoon and like they're able to like convince him to to start it's something something no, Donald well, Trump related because okay so. Your theory is wrong. I'll just I'll just say that now, because that's probably true. The end of this one, the end of election year, all the founding yeah. fathers are there to murder. Uh, I don't know her name. The, the senator, the senator Elizabeth Mitchell. Elizabeth yeah. Mitchell. They were all there to murder her, and they all none of them seemed like doofus characters. They're all no, no, not them. That, but they're the ones who started the purge. They're, no, I know. I I mean, so I, I know what you're saying. I think I think they 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 use their doofus president as a puppet to get it done. Is what I'm saying. Maybe like they worked behind the scenes with with you know a, a president that they can control. Yeah, I I I always assumed that there was like a a revolt in that uh, there was like a coup and the government got overthrown. And the new founding fathers established the purge. But there's still like a presidency and they still do elections and I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go through this movie. It, uh, okay. It starts with the senator. She's running for president and she is now protected by, uh, by the, the Purge Law, right? Wait. Oh, you're talking about the Grillo. Yeah, Frank Grillo. So Frank Grillo is back. Uh, yeah. Which, to be honest, I didn't care for that. Yeah, I kind of like that they didn't. I, I I like him, and you know, I think he's a good actor and everything. I just, it, I didn't, I couldn't buy into it. Yeah, well, it it was like that. He too he convenient. Went from, just a dad. Oh, yeah, way too convenient. He went from being a dad. Yeah. 
on a rampage to being top security for a senator. Like top it, so security in in one year, uh, multiple years. Was it multiple years? Yeah. Does this one not follow last year's? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> actually that... Okay. So I actually watched the first half of this movie like a week, a week and a half ago. That's the best way to watch movies. And then the second half today. <laughs> so the the early parts are a little fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. But so the first scene that we see as... And she's like a little girl with her family tied up? Yes. When does that take place? 18 years before. Okay, but I thought that they made it sound like that was a purge. It was. But how? The purge was happening 18 years before that point. So then what year are we at currently? We know that the purge started in 2017. So this is 18 years after that, and, and Frank Grillo is not aged? Uh, well, Frank, so... <clears throat> Timeline wise, I don't know exactly, but based on this movie, I, I can't I can't say anything for the other movies because I don't remember what they said. Based on this movie, okay. the senator when she was a kid or like a teenager, her family got <laughs> caught uh, or got purged by a guy. Right. She was the only survivor. That was eighteen years before this movie took place. Frank Grillo. Right. He had Purge Anarchy happen something like three or four. 2023. Three or four years before uh, the Purge election year. See, that doesn't make any sense. It, but so that's what here, the movie I'll, said. I'll, walk, I'll try. To, <laughs> no, I know. I, I, I'm just trying to say that that doesn't make sense. If based on that timeline. Uh-huh. We okay. We know that the purge starts. The first year is 2017. Where right? They say that in an in anarchy. Okay. Because the, the year is, or they might have even said it in the first one, because it's like well, the year is 2022, and this is like the fifth year or the sixth year. Yeah. So it, it's one of those. Uh-huh. So it's it it. So it's it's really new, and then in anarchy, it's the next year. It's 2023. Yes. Yep. And that's when we see Frank Grillo. Okay. So. If it's only been three years, <laughs> then then that puts it at what two thousand seventeen or two thousand twenty seven, giving it ten years since the first purge, meaning the whole senator thing timeline makes no sense. Yeah, either that or Frank the Grillo only way it makes sense age. is is exactly he's Richard Alpert from Lost and he just is this age all the time because they they don't say exactly when his. Cause she, she asked him, she's like, why are you helping me? And he's like, a few years back, I almost did a really bad thing trying to get revenge on purge, on the purge night. And I can see how this, this day can destroy people's lives. Okay. And that's fine. Yeah. Because it's presumed to be only a few years, not 18 years. Yeah. I thought that, that was. doesn't make any sense. I, I thought that was too much. Like. It was like a too big of a time jump, like what you're saying. Like what would have solved it well, is not having Frank Grillo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then it could have taken place any time. At any point, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. But putting Frank Grillo in it really throws the timeline off. You know, what? Well, throws the timeline off. We need to get Matt Pat on this, bust out a timeline for us. Who's that? The Game Theorist. He does timelines of TV shows and stuff on YouTube. Oh, I wish I wish someone would. It uh, it just it 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 makes no sense. No. Um, either that, or the only other thing that I could think of was that when we saw her as a kid, that wasn't like a true purge. That was just a crazy person. Uh, potentially, but it, she. But then, but then they say something about it later, yeah. right? They make mention of her family being victims of a purge. Yeah. And he, so the that murderer, doesn't make any sense. The murderer even says, "Like we've played a lot of purge games tonight, but now we're down to the last one." And he told the mom yeah, she has yeah, to choose right. who to survive. And I felt like 
that as a movie, uh, like a story telling device was really wasted. Yeah. Because they cut from that. You're like, you don't really know what's going on. You don't really get it. And then they cut straight into, oh, the senator had this thing happen 18 years ago to her. Now she's trying to end the purge. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, what they should have done is open with that, open w- and then cut into about the senator trying to end the purge and then reveal later that that beginning clip was the senator. And that's why she is so affected by, it. you know what I mean? Like just from a, a movie standpoint, like why, why waste that moment of r- revelation? Yeah, I, I I felt like the the writing in this movie was weak compared to the other ones. Um, yes and no, because the other ones are pretty bad too. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Okay, sorry, it, weaker. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. The I don't even know how to go through this movie. There's so there's a senator and Frank Grillo, and then there is a um. A convenience store owner and his Mexican his posse <laughs> his Mexican worker yeah uh, was he an illegal alien or was he a citizen at that point? I think he was a citizen because he originally he wasn't right he talks about coming to the country or that was another thing there was something else that didn't line up. I think he said he became a citizen five years earlier okay. Something like that. Yeah. Just in time for the purge. And you don't you don't like when Mexicans become citizens, is that what you said? Some you said something I don't like is that he became a citizen five years earlier. Uh <laughs> that, yeah. that's what I meant. <laughs> okay. Just want to be clear. Yeah. No, um I don't even remember what I was saying that I didn't like. Um so the, I, uh, did you recognize the black girl from the convenience store was the grandma from Get Out? Oh, from Get Out? Yeah. Yeah, it really bothered me until the movie ended and I had to look it up and figure out who that was. I was like, why do I recognize oh, this really? girl so much? Yeah. Oh, so the reason I the reason I was able to tell was because when I saw her in Get Out, at first I thought she was from The Walking Dead, Sasha. Yeah. Uh, cause they, I think they look similar. And so then when I saw her in this one, that was my first thought too. I was like, is that her? And I was like, oh, no, wait, that's the one that I thought was her. See, this is. She's from Get Out. The, when we did Black Panther, you said black girls all look the same. And now you think these, all these black girls look the same. All right. Uh, are you trying to tell me that they don't? These two? Uh, I don't think all black people look the same, Taylor. No. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that point. Okay. <laughs> no, I see. If you, I, if you say so, I see what you're saying. I think they, I think they are somewhat similar looking. Similar enough that where it makes you do a double take. A double take, yeah. Oh, um, so the convenience store, they there's like four people all together, the deli, the deli yeah, and uh, these two high school age kids walk in. Uh, maybe I don't even know. They could have been forty. They were really <laughs> weird characters, <laughs> and uh, they were really like they grossed me out for some reason. Yeah, no, they were they were awful. They <laughs> they steal a candy bar, and he's like, "Hey, give me back the candy bar. Get out of my store. Not gonna call the cops. Just we'll leave it at that." And she's like, "What are you gonna do about it?" All like crazy psycho, and. uh I think the actress does a good job at portraying what she was trying to portray, but I really hate characters like this that are just like oh, so do I. Spoiled psychos. Like I feel like that's the best mm-hmm. way to describe her character. Well, it didn't bother me because she basically was like, "You come near me, I'll cry rape or something yeah, like yeah. that." I'm like. Like, you know, like, the reason I saw you steal my candy bar is because, like, we're on video. <laughs> so, go ahead. Also, there's, like, three people here with me watching. That was... Uh, yeah, no. I, and, I, uh, 
<laughs> so I hate what I what what bothers me about that the most is like that is like a legit fear that I think people have to live with in this day and age. Like false rape claims. It's so exactly yeah. like it, it, anyone could could say it and you could be ruined before the truth ever comes out. Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous. Well, even you could be proven innocent, but it doesn't matter because it's already in people's heads that you're a rapist, and that never goes away. Yeah, I mean that's one of the things that people will say about newspapers, right? Like the headline is on the fr- front page, but the attraction is on the last page. So the idea of like, yeah, they'll just sell a story, and if even if it's wrong, like the majority of people that saw the original story, it's such a small. Such a small percent that it will actually mm-hmm. ever find out the truth. Yep, that's ridiculous. But anyways, that's <laughs> it. Doesn't come to be because then uh, Grandma from Get Out uh, shows up, and apparently she's she's some kind of legend in these parts. Yeah, uh, for murder, it's still right? not a hundred percent. Yeah, that's I guess that's what it. I don't remember if it said that or if it just implied it, but she was like, she used to be crazy and she used to participate in the purge a lot. Yeah, that's what I took it as because we find out later that now she's doing like medic service because every all the governmental um, emergency systems are shut down, right? No police, no fire, no ambulances. So they yep. they run like an underground ambulance operation. Triage. Yeah, triage. Um. And she's doing that, but she was known because she was so effective at purging, I guess, before. Like, Something along those lines. Yeah, it's weird. Um, um, yeah, so. But she'll straight up murder she someone. Pretty much, she did not care. Oh, no. She's she's still good yeah. at it. You never lose that skill. That's true. Um, basically for that guy, his storyline is his insurance calls the day of the purge and says, Hey, we're not covering you for the purge. So you're on your, you're on your own. Yeah. They said they so raised he his, he's going to defend it. They raised his oh, that's premium, what it was, yeah. uh, by like thousands and thousands of dollars about five hours before the purge happened, which is believable. Like, Oh no, for sure. I believe that because that's insurance companies, there's horrible companies. Out yeah. There. That they would do that because then. You, the one, you're not going to have enough time to get the money together and get to the bank and yeah. like pay it all off. So the insurance companies either are getting more money from their premiums or they're not having or to pay. Or you're losing your coverage and they don't have to pay yeah. it out. So that was believable. Yeah. And so he's like, this is all I have. I'm going to defend it. And so he ends up staying at his deli with, uh, what was his name? Marco? Was his, um, I believe so. So they they're staying. They're sitting on the roof with guns, and uh, going to protect their business. Yes. And these girls who tried to steal the candy bar show back up, and 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 so that's another problem that I have. Right. Uh, why is it that just because it's like the purge, all of a sudden you got like. Gold plated weapons and fancy vehicles and like, <laughs> like, or do you not have like you still gotta get your hands on that stuff, yeah. right? That's it, it. It's it's not like all of a sudden there's like over the top weapons. Okay, like for example, at the very beginning, <laughs> at, at some point, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What is that called? The guillotine. The guillotine. Yeah. It's like where did you get that? It was all sp- you just spot lit. They had like 10 spotlights on it and people dancing around it and this giant guillotine that just came and chopped a guy's head off and they're just having a party in an alley. Like there's, I'm like, how would you ever where set was that? that? <laughs> Did you have it like at home and then you had to like bring it out and like build it? Well, you know, like, are Comic-Con. you allowed to like pre-build your stuff? You know, Comic-Con. Right. People will spend all year getting their costumes ready for the next one. I, I gotta Oh, assume, and I'm sure that that's. Yeah, it's just like a, a little project. Like there's, there's gotta be YouTube channels. Tons and tons of YouTube channels in the purge verse of people 
just like showing how they're preparing for the next purge. And how like, to make your own guilty. Yeah, DIY uh, purge <laughs> weapons and traps and all that type of stuff. Because like there's one scene where uh, they're walking down yeah, like an scene. alleyway and uh, a giant axe swings. They like trip over a trip line and an axe almost chops their heads yeah. off. And uh, they get I, by I, it. I like that. Yeah. And then you hear the guys the like, I like the, we'll get the next one. Like Don't worry. <laughs> like, yeah, I like that. Like everyone's like laughing about it. Like, oh man, so yeah. close. Oh, well, like we'll get them. Like those guys are legit like having fun with it, right? Yeah. They're not like psychopaths waiting for the purge. They're just like, oh, we're going to do it like this way. Well, and no, they're definitely people psychopaths. People come along, we'll kill them because we... Well, not in a way that like you are like constructing a guillotine. I don't know. It, it, it felt. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it feels pretty much on like, par. Like, like they were just having a good time, but trying to chop people in half with a giant axe. Yeah, but also like they, they're not just trying to kill people because if if they were, they would have just killed them, right? Just because the axe didn't get them, they could still kill them. But they're like, no, we want to kill them with the axe. You guys made it. Go ahead. Like, we'll just get someone else. That's all we want. Yeah. Not just like, I'm going to kill every person that I come across on the street. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't agree it with felt, you, but I understand what you're saying. Like, I, I, I would be, I would be in that group. <laughs> just, just a real setting, laid back setting traps. Setting traps and watching them and so, like hoping people like fall into them. But if they don't, I'm like, oh man. So the uh but yeah. The girls come back and she's like, I already killed my parents. Now I want my candy bar. And just standing in the street and it's just like I I don't see how cuz they're like all dancing around this car that's got like Christmas lights all over the car and like shooting guns off. I don't see how no one is killing loud them. music. Right. Like other purgers, like because you see throughout all uh, the you know purge anarchy and this movie, there's like roamers going around just mowing anyone they find. But then there's like the costumed purgers who seem invincible. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't. It's 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 crazy. But uh, so they they end up calling, uh, get out, grandma. And she shows up and just runs him over with her car and gets her shotgun out. And I, I appreciate when movies do this where it seems like you're going to have like this monologue from the bad guy, you know, and yeah. they just shoot him right in the face before they even have a chance to say anything, especially when it's like a real annoying character. There's like a uh, sense of, they don't even give him a chance to say anything. Yeah. It's like, there's been enough out of you. I do. Uh, yeah, I I do. I'm with you on that one. I I appreciate that. Um. So back to the senator. So the senator yeah. is making a lot of progress in the election, and the founding fathers, the new founding fathers, are concerned that she's going to win, and so they're like, you know what? This year, we need to take her out. Let's let's get rid of. All the laws about the rule. protecting yeah. level ten government officials, and we'll we'll purge on her tonight. So they do that, um, which this that that ruined the theory of that recording just being from the first one and then reusing it because they make a new recording because that girl on the voice recording says that yeah, and now also level ten officials are no longer immune. I was like, damn yeah. it. Ruined my theory. Yeah, see, I was right. I don't know if I'd go that far, but... Uh, I, w- I will go at least that far. Um, yeah, so Frank Grillo is her security, and he's got a team, and they are holed up. She she is like, um, doesn't want to go anywhere, doesn't want to be secretive. She wants to just stay at home because yeah, so- she wants to appear like like an everyday person. He he was going to get a place that was like a fortress. Like yeah, super safe, protected. No way anyone could get in. She's like, 
I can't do that. If I, if I don't stay at home, people are not going to support me because I'm going to be no different than all the other politicians, which is a, a reasonable point. But also, yeah, you're going to get murdered. Like, yeah. So there's, there's a few times in this movie that, that I agree with her, but then like, only to an extent, yeah. right? And just to jump forward a little bit, right? She's very against, like, killing the 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 other guy, you know, her opponent, the um, the prime, what, the minister, because that because they're not yeah, president, the minister of whatever. Like, he's the president, but they don't call him the president. Well, I don't, I don't know. They don't, yeah, they don't call him that. They call him something else. But they're both running for the presidency. Yeah. So she's she's really opposed to it, and that's fine if you yeah. you want to be better than these people, so you're not going to kill. But like your whole platform is stopping the purge, right? You, to be honest, especially when they're trying to kill you, instead, like you're gonna if you if you don't take the like, what's the point if if all of this if they succeed and then like you don't get the presidency anyways like then you can't stop anything like why not like fudge the rules now for, you know for the for the end game to be able to end the whole thing well i mean she does say instead of she says that if he dies if he gets assassinated he's going to be a martyr which is going to rally the support of people who are in support of the purge maybe but then also he's dead and you are not. So you can still become the president. Yeah. But if they you die, in, then what happens? Vote in someone else who is in support of the purge. I, I, I don't get why it would matter. It, why would him dying on purge night be any different than anything? Like that's, why would he be a martyr as, as he, he's, he's just getting killed just like anybody else. Well, I think because one, I don't know, it's, they would lay it, pin it on her, like almost regard, almost like a conspiracy theory. Even though she didn't really have anything to do with it, I think they would definitely blame her for right. it and call her a hypocrite. And then it would, yeah, the people who, the people who were afraid to lose the purge but felt safe would be rallied into voting because now their guy is dead and they have to help. Secure everything. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah, so I, they're, they're all set up at her house and it turns out that all, or one of the, uh, security guards sold, or not sold, but like, uh, took money to give away information of where they were and how to get in and help it kill all the other yeah. guards. But Frank Grillo figures it out before it happens, and they're able to escape. And they're running away. Pretty much as it's happening. Yeah, as it's happening. And I, what did you think about the main uh, assassin guy? What was your opinions about him? The um, bald guy with all the tattoos and the Confederate flag yeah. uh, patches on his stuff. What do I think about him? Yeah. I, a, I'd li- I liked... That he's a, a little character. different, right? He's he's obviously a murderer, right? But to him, it's a job, yeah. And he doesn't enjoy it because he he makes a comment at the end, like I don't. He's talking to his one of his guys. He's like, let's just. He's like, let's just hurry up and we're we're d- finish this. Yeah, week and he go said home. we're like, delivering. He's not it. out there just because he likes to kill people. Well, because they were like getting her dressed up to be so, purged. He said we we're, we're delivering right. her. We're not. Uh, gift wrapping or gift wrapping, but uh, he was kind of a yeah, and the, uh, white trash stereotype, right? Like, did you get that or no? Um, I don't know. I didn't pick up that. No, no. I mean, he had Confederate flag patches all over his flak jacket. Right. Yeah, but that could almost just be seen as like. Uh, I'm just like a rebel in general. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, it, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't have a problem with him. Yeah, no, I didn't. He he was fine as a character. I just it, this movie, the division 
that they like the ones that they say these are the good guys, these are the bad guys is always it always feels a little heavy handed. Um, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to explain without it coming out weird, but like weird. <laughs> it just, it just felt like, uh, a bit much. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. No, I know. Um, yeah, so basically from there, the characters, uh, uh, well, they're getting chased. They're getting the chased. Meat? <laughs> yeah, so they're, yeah, they're, they're getting chased. And, uh, so Frank, <laughs> Frank Grillo and the senator are getting chased by, uh, these French tourists who are there for, uh, murder tourism. And, uh, these French people. Yeah, oh, that's right. We're about to purge on them in the middle of the street. And, uh, the, the owner of the convenience store and the Mexican guy show up and shoot them all and chase them off. And then they bring them into yep. their house and are protecting them. The store. And then that's yeah. when the girls show up and they have to call the grandma from get out and she comes and runs them over. I thought that was, I thought the, I thought that part happened before. No, cause the girls were breaking right? in. They had like, uh, uh, grinding, uh, and- no, I think those were still the terrorists. Those were what? Ah, uh, I don't, I don't remember. No, I know what you're saying. Um, but basically, uh, he had to abandon his deli. Yeah. And so they get the, the senator in the ambulance and they're taking her to the triage place and, um, they're being attacked all the way there. And, uh, mm-hmm. because Frank Grillo had a tracker embedded in his, into his arm. And it, yeah, he was yeah. shot and they were tracking him through that. Um, okay. So they get to the triage. Okay, so that dude, is that the same dude from the other no. ones? Okay. I think it's his son. I think that's, or a nephew or something like that. I think he was related to the other guy. Do they say that? I, I don't think so, that. yeah. Okay. Um, basically, they are like a, a, a safe zone for people who are injured during the purge and they don't want to be a part of it. And, uh, they, they patch up Frank. And then, uh, Frank and Elizabeth Mitchell come across their plans to assassinate the, I don't know, what is it, the prime minister? What we I, decide? I think, well, I think they called him just the minister. Okay. I don't, maybe he wasn't the president either. Maybe he was. I don't think he was the current president, but I think he was running okay. for president. Okay. I thought he was the current president. I thought she was running against him as, him as the current president, but that might make more sense. Yeah. Yeah, so they're having a what a, the purge mass yeah. with the founding fathers, and which is they all get together at a, a giant cathedral and uh, murder people <laughs> just in on the in front of the pew or not in front of the pew in front of the pulpit. Yeah, you know as churches yep. do, and so that's when she decides. Hey, I don't want you guys to do this because I don't want you to assassinate him. Yeah, yeah, because they 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 are for her, and they think that if they kill him, then she's got like an easy win. Yeah, well, I think and she doesn't see it that I way. I think they're against the purge. I don't think they really care about her. Right. I think they see no, her. They, as it, it could have been anyone. A tool. Yeah. To get their what, what they're they trying want. to do across, but like. They're not, they're not assassinating or trying to assassinate him for her. No, for the cause. And so they, they have this big discussion about, yeah, that guy's going to be a martyr and it's going to make it worse, this and that. And the other guy's pretty much like, uh, we're going to do it anyways. Like we have hidden tunnels that go to the church. Thanks, George Washington. (laughs) 
and we're going to kill this guy. So then uh, their place starts getting attacked by the, I don't know, I just, we'll just call them soldiers. Yeah, the mercenaries. And so her and Frank have to take off again, and they leave and are picked up by uh, Get Out Grandma and uh, the deli yep. owner and Marco? Yeah. Marcos? And so, yeah, they're driving around, and they are hit broadside by the soldier, the main skinhead yeah. guy, I guess you could say. Yeah, and I just want to clarify uh, about what I was saying before, because I feel like it might sound... Here we go. <laughs> it might sound like I was saying, you can't make uh, Nazis and white supremacists the bad guys. I don't care. I think they are bad guys. I think those are bad people in society. I just don't like when, mm-hmm. similar to 12 Strong, uh, I don't know if you've seen that yet, but the they make nope. the villain cartoonishly evil, and it, it, mm-hmm. it's just harder to care when you do that, and I, that's what I felt like they did with this guy. Yeah. I just wanted to point that out, what I was trying to say earlier, that I felt like them adding all that extra stuff, because like, his tattoos seem kind of uh, Nazi-esque white supremacist-esque. I don't think there were actually any like actual tattoos that were like that, but that, yeah. the, the Confederate flag and all that stuff, it was like cartoony evil. And uh, it's just harder yeah. to buy. That's That was the point I was trying to make that I didn't really make earlier. Yeah, like he could have just been a, a bad guy. Yeah. He didn't have to be like what we already perceive as a bad yes. person. I got gotcha. you. So yeah, they're picked up by Grandma and the gang. Yeah, oh no, they're hit by the soldiers and Elizabeth Mitch. Elizabeth Mitchell is dragged away by like, the soldier, like out of uh, what, what is that movie? The um, found footage horror movie. Oh yeah, uh, paranormal yeah. activity. She's in the back of the truck and then just disappears, like just like <laughs> yanked. It's like boom, zoom, and then they're yeah. gone. Like Frank gets out immediately, and they're like already yeah. leaving. It's like that was impressive. <laughs> Maybe they just got a rope like, around her like foot, a, and then they took off and just yanked her out of the, the back. Batman grappling hook her down the street. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just, they didn't even have to get out of the vehicle because we don't ever see anyone. We just see her being drug yeah. out. So he chases. Well, I guess he doesn't really chase. Um, he. He sees what happens and he meets up with the other group. The who he knows is going to attack the church. Yeah, he meets up with them and in the tunnel. tells them. Yeah, says, "Hey, this isn't an assassination anymore. It's a rescue yeah, attempt. It's a rescue mission now." Yeah, so which she's effectively going to be exactly murdered. the same. They're just trying to. They're just making sure they don't kill her. <laughs> yeah, do everything you were gonna do. Just watch out a yeah. little bit. Watch out for her. Um, so she's taken there. She's like tied up, put like in a straight jacket type thing. And, uh, she sees another guy who has the same treatment and he's taken out on like a loony bin cart. I don't know what those are yeah, called. Yeah, I thought it was just like a furniture uh, dolly. People dolly? I thought it was just like a refrigerator dolly. Well, they're dolly. the special kind. They're the special kind that like sit like at an angle. For prisoners. Like without. Yeah, they have like a stand yeah. on them so they can sit leaning back. People dolly, I don't know. <laughs> the loony cart. And uh so he's taken out there and I, I I had a serious issue with the priest. That dude was just so weird. He was weird. very creepy. Um, which obviously was intentional. Yeah. But uh he gets the first kill, so he kills the uh the the drug addict who wanted to reform his life. And so everybody thank him because we're going to kill yeah. him now. Yeah, it, the uh the uh, perversion that the purge seems to to do to people is an interesting idea. I feel like there was one there was one time where uh the movie actually put forward that you would have remorse for killing someone and that was when the uh, the grandma from Get Out pulls up and is like, "Oh, someone needs our help." 
and it turned out to be a wife shot her husband, but she didn't feel any better. Like she couldn't stand yeah. to look at his face, so she shot him in the face, but she didn't feel cleaned. She didn't feel yeah. better about it. Exactly. And that was the only it, the purge didn't cure yeah. her. Um, but everyone else is uh, they're all psychopaths. Like you would have to be to not have any. Oh. To be able to cheer someone getting murdered right in front of your eyes. Although, maybe not. I don't know. Like, historically, there are things like the, the gladiator battles in the Colosseum. Gladiators. Where people would go and watch it, uh, for entertainment. So maybe, maybe it might happen. It's not far fetched. Yeah. We're just regressing into that. We are? Me and you specifically? Um, us specifically, <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, so the priest kills the dude, and he's super creepy about it. But yeah, the purge is, is become to these people more like a religion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? for sure. It's, it, it's not like a, uh, a, a, an effective tool to help reduce crime anymore. It's, it is, I mean, it is for a lot of people, but for them, it's, and it seems to just be rich white people. And it's like this in all three of the yeah. movies. They, they have their own way of purging that's very different than the the street street way of doing yeah. things but it's like it's it's like ceremonious and it's like hallowed yeah and it's just it's just creepy yeah no it's very creepy um so they kill that guy he's taken back they bring out uh Elizabeth Mitchell as the next uh guest as they called yep. her and they call up all the founding fathers to do it together Right. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I really hope that the next one gives us more details, which obviously I'm sure it will. It's I, a prequel. I, but, what I, what I um, appreciate about the Purge series is I feel like with each one they make, they are, they are addressing issues people had with the previous one before it. Like, uh, the first one is like people complain like this, this, you, it only took place in a house. Like what? So I see. Yeah. And so then the second one, they're like, all right, well, here's the whole city. Like watch yeah. these people try to survive throughout the whole city. And then it's just kind of like, well, what are the implications of this? Like are people really on board with this just in general? And so the next one, they're like, all right, here you go. Like here's the conflict. Here's the struggle between the two. And then, you know, like you're saying, you want to see how it started. And like, here you go. Like it just feels, like they're listening to what people want to to see, which I, I appreciate. Even if the movies aren't great, they're at least proactive in no, trying to make them better, right. and that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I it's which which leads me to my next. Uh, I'll tell you about what my uh my next movie I think should be about after the uh-huh. the new one. Um. So. Okay, so yeah, they drag her out, and the dude's like in the process of like preschool purge, slitting her throat. Yeah, that's yeah. a preschool purge. <laughs> um, and then the the team comes in, shoots the dude in the head, and pretty much kills all the founding fathers and most of the crowd. Uh, she is saved. They are then taken. They don't. They don't kill. Um, the minister though. The yeah. main. Yeah, the minister. He's the only one left alive. Uh, and then that's like a whole thing like, oh, we can kill him or we can be better than that, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Uh, which it, it's funny because and we may have talked about this already on the podcast, but it's it's an issue that I, 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 I've been hearing more about lately that a lot of people have with movies uh-huh. like this where it's like the good guy – there's a good guy and there's a bad guy. And the good guy – is killing everyone in his way, you know, all the bad guys, minions and this and that to get to the bad yeah. guy. And then when he finally gets to him, he's like, no, I got to be better than yeah. you. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> like, what about the hundred other guys? <laughs> like, this is the, the, the worst guy in the movie is the guy you decide to yeah. spare. Like, you could have spared everybody else and killed the worst guy. And like, those guys might have just. Went yeah, home. well, exactly. Like, that's what the, uh, the guys who were the, uh, the freedom fighters, I don't know what they called themselves. The guys who are trying to go in and assassinate them. That's effectively yeah. what they are trying to do, right? Like they're like, let's just take, let's just chop the head off the snake. And she's like, no, yeah, don't yeah, do exactly. that. And it ends up they have to kill 
Hundreds. We'll kill all the founding fathers and everyone else in that place except for the yeah. worst guy. So, yeah, that was bonkers, but whatever. The guy decides to not kill him. That's fine. Uh, then they see a whole room full of, uh, other potential victims. Yes. So then the, the, the soldiers show back up. And here's the thing. This is where I don't get, like, you did your job, right? You, you delivered her. Why are you still here? Now you just want to kill people? I don't, like, you, you're done. Like, you, you said so yourself. Just, you got her here. Now we can go home. Like, go home. Why is he, like, He's not a part of the, the, the new founding fathers. He's not a part of anything like that. He probably doesn't have any ill will against these people. Why is he still yeah. here? Uh, I don't really remember him showing back up. What happened? Yeah, he fights Frank. Oh, they, remember they, they I, get, in, they're in like the parking lot. Hand to hand combat, right? They're just like punching each other. Yeah, they get in this, like in a knife fight. Oh, much. that was, yeah, and that then, was one of the things I wanted to talk about. The, this movie treats that little spade knife like it's the most effective weapon in all of history. Oh yeah, it, there's it's no a way. what it is. It's like a um, it's a necklace knife, right? It's a you put it on a chain and it's the size of a dog uh-huh. tag, and you can you can take it off real quick, and it goes inside your knuckles. He kills so many people with that little knife. Oh, like twelve yeah, people, and it who have like real weapons. It's 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 so dumb. Like that that knife should not it's be given dumb. so much credit. But yeah, no, I remember now. Yeah, they're fighting in the parking garage. And he slashes his face and gives him like the Joker smile. <laughs> uh, but then he ends up stabbing him a bunch of times and he yeah. kills him. So the end of that. Um, so that's kind of the end of that purge for the day. And then comes to me the biggest issue. Ooh. We fast forward three months and we are now mid March. It is like, the afternoon and they're announcing the president. When did the election take place in March? When does it, when are the results announced in the middle of the day? Like I can, the, the, the only way I can be kind of on board is okay. If this is really far in the future, like it, it could be, then things have changed, but they still didn't find a way to change the like electoral college vote. <laughs> it, it, it was that whole thing. I was like, do they not know about like the election and how it works and how it's worked since the 1700s? I don't, I don't, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Felt stupid to me. <laughs> um, but anyways, she ends up winning. Okay. Do we even know if that guy ended up still running anyways? Uh, I don't, I don't remember if they, I even don't, yeah, said. I don't remember. Um, uh, see, like that's so, that and, and that's another one of the things. It's like I, how, uh, I, I I get that you have the twelve hours of no repercuss- repercussions, yeah. but but there has to be there has to be something that happens once those twelve hours are over. Like I don't know. Like next time we debate, I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's not a good guy. This and that, and also I don't know if you guys remember he tried to kill me. Like, are are we even allowed to bring I, that up, or is I it don't like think so. what happens in the purge yeah. stays in the purge? You can't even talk yeah, about it. I think so. I think the the whole thing is like, if what happens during the purge is sacred, like you can't you can't judge someone for purging their spirit because that's what helps them get through the rest of the year. Even if it was directly against you, but then so that also leads me. To the same question, which I had on the could, last movie, and now I have even more yeah. so now. Like, do people get over it better if, like, they know someone who died? They're like, hey, you guys seen Bill? Oh, no, man. They grabbed him during the purge, and they put him on a guillotine and cut his head <laughs> off. So he didn't make it. But, like, it's fine. Like, that This still seems like you'd be, like, scarred. So, I don't know. That's just crazy. So not to, like make this too real but (laughs) uh a lot of the people i work with here are refugees of war and their outlook on life and death is so different uh like there was Mm -hmm. we were talking to this girl who was probably 15 at the time i might have actually told the story here on here before but 
she, her and her friend were walking home from school and they found a dead body who had been decapitated. And, uh, she was telling us about it and she was telling us about it. Like, like if, if I was driving to work and my, the tire in my truck got a flat, you know what I mean? Like it was like, yeah. Oh, this happened type of thing. Like it was no, like if, if I, if I showed no, up yeah, on a body I, that had been decapitated, it would effectively, you know, change my life, <laughs> you know, like it would, it, it would oh, shock sure. me to my core for them. It was just like, just another day, you know, just that's what happens. Like this is just part of life. And so right. I say all that to say, if you're in the purge, if you live in a place where the purge is an actual thing, you probably would become desensitized to people being dead, especially during the purge. Like, may, right. And, and, and I get that. Maybe death would be more tragic outside of the purge. Uh, but I think during the purge, you're just like, Oh, really? That sucks. Like, Kind of like if your friend got fired from work. You're just like, ah, dang it. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah. But then, and, and I get that. Let's, let's assume that this is really like 18 years into the purge, yeah. right? And it's been around for so long. But like, the, the, there was the same issue in the first two movies where it's like, this has only been going on a couple yeah. years. Like, it seems like you wouldn't be so desensitized to it yet. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I just have to wonder like how people can go, you know, go on the next day and like act like it doesn't happen. And like, oh yeah, all of your neighbors, like they tried to kill you. And then like, should we still like invite them to parties (laughs) and act like they didn't try to do that? Like, you know, should we, Avoid them because, like, we know that they don't like us. I like it's hard. How do you go back to regular yeah. life when, like, people try to do things and and like they fail, but you know what their intentions? Well, also, were. how many days off work do you get after the purge? Do you have to go back to work the next day? Oh, I'm probably gonna use a vacation yeah. day. Like, I save my vacation day. And maybe jobs give out. Like, you get one purge. You get like a purge day. Like every yeah. year, like a sick day. Well, cause like, uh, Christmas, a lot of people get just like that whole week off, right? Right. Depending on who you work with and stuff like that. But like, would, would the purge be something like that along those lines where you, they're like, we're going to have to, you know, recover emotionally and then actually just physically from all the damage that's done. So go ahead and just take the next week off after the purge. Uh, yeah, but, but then, I mean, life's gotta get back to normal. Yeah. Like, someone's gotta make them burgers. <laughs> well, also, all the repair guys, too. Like. Oh, I bet they, they, they love, it's like Black Friday yeah. for them. They, like, can't get enough, like, deals going. <laughs> I don't know. I did think it was, uh, a cool world building moment when the, uh, the truck that had all the, it was basically Monty Python, the dead, I bring out your dead. Oh, uh, yeah. They just collect the yeah, dead bodies. Yeah. I thought that was kind of like an interesting... Like, there's an economy based on the purge even in mm-hmm. the inner city, right? Like, obviously, yeah. all the rich guys are making money off of it and different stuff like that. But there's also mm-hmm. its own, like, natural economy being built off of it where people are, you know, collecting dead bodies and doing all this different stuff to like clean up and yeah. kind of maintain order during the purge. Yep. Yeah, I yeah, I did like that. Um I don't know, it's just there's so many questions that like I I I don't need I don't really need yeah. answers to. It's just one of those things that you think about like how how it would really go down if this was real life and well i think it's it's kind of it's 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 interesting with the purge um because there's movies that i watch and there'll be smaller plot holes that will just ruin the movie for me like i was just like i just can't get over it i'm like what why that doesn't make any sense this movie like why right. why did this happen and then i watch something like the purge that i expect to be just full of plot holes 
And I'm just like, it's, it's all right, like a, let's go. Yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm on the, I'm, I'm all aboard. You have to, you have to be. It's, it's like time, like, like a time travel movie, yeah. right? Like there's always going to be issues because for one, it's, it's not real. So no one can truly say what the rules are. So you just kind of have to expect that there's going to be things that you just have to yeah. accept. Like you just have to take it for what it is. Yeah. I don't know. It's, I, I see it as similar to that. Like just enjoy it for, for what's presented. Don't, you know, don't think too much because it's not real. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's just interesting to me on like my own psyche about it is the similar with Saw. I don't think they're good. Yeah. And I know they're bad. No. I go into them knowing that they're bad, but they're, they're going to be enjoyable, but I can't, I yeah. can't go and see like a Marvel movie with that mentality for some reason. Like I get, because because there shouldn't be plot holes in those, right? Those are like huge budget, yeah. you know, all star casts and all star writers and this and that. Like, I think all, if there's a plot hole, it's because they made a mistake, not because they just didn't yeah. write it. I think also part of it for me, at least, is uh, people tell you that these Marvel movies are so good. Nobody is telling yeah. you The Purge is a great movie. You know what I mean? Like, there's no like. There's no character judgment if you dislike it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like similar with Fast and the Furious, like everyone's just like kind of on board. Like, yeah, these are dumb, but that's the point. Yeah, they're a little too dumb for me. I'm not. Like, <laughs> they're not. I mean, they're not the worst. They're like they're action purges. It's a, it's the same thing. Like it's the same mentality. I think behind them. Yeah, I don't. Buy but anyways, it. what what is what do you want to see for Purge number five? So after the first Purge, you want you said you wanted to see something. Okay, so so after she's elected, it uh, we then hear like a news report about how people are like rioting, uh-huh. right? And people who are for the Purge are essentially like upset because now it's gone. Um. I want to see another movie, right, that takes place at, like, hmm, maybe, like, in the future where the purge is is Uh outlawed, but people still practice Mm. it. And, uh, like, it almost turns into a Hunger Games type thing where now it's it's, it's outlawed or it's not, like, legal, but it's out of control. You know, because people have been doing it for so long that now it's actually – it is pure anarchy because they now – because, I mean, if you think about it, number two – I don't know why it's called anarchy because they're they're doing what the government <laughs> says, right? So they're not really they're not going against that. I guess besides maybe the the rebel group, but like I want to see like true anarchy would be going against the government, and in this case, being like, no, we're still going to do this yeah. anyways. And there's so many of us that like it's it's like a war yeah. almost. No, I think that like it's it's. It's still the purge, but now it's, it's like true crazy people, like the rich people, you know, who, who did it just cause they could or they had the money, like they're not doing it anymore cause it's yeah. not legal. Like, but the crazy people are still doing it and now it's, it's like a big, yeah, fight. that would be, it'd be interesting to have the purge going on, but the police trying to stop it. Yeah. Exactly. But you definitely know Frank Grillo is going to be leading the police, right? Like he's going to be now head of the SWAT team. Oh, of course. He's the, he's the commissioner. Yeah. Um, no, I think that, I think that would be um, cool. I think, uh, I want to see it's like, there's like a, there's a huge police presence and a huge like fire department presence, but it's so widespread that like even their best efforts, they can't, they just, there's like not yeah. enough cops and, and firemen to, to stop it. Yeah. No, I think cause definitely there would be people who would be fanatical about it, right? Like, and then, yeah, and then maybe you get like the group of people who didn't care about the purge, but now that they're told, told by they the government that yeah. they can't, you know, now they're part of it and they're, they're purging now when they weren't before and who just stuff turns like into a civil war. Yeah, Kid pretty burns much. the purge civil war. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, I would watch that documentary. All right. Well, if you guys enjoy our podcast, you could help us out by going over to Patreon and uh, by for a dollar you can vote for Taylor or I. Whoever has the least amount of votes at the end of the month has to pay the punishment. Um, also, with that same dollar, yeah. 
you get access to all our episodes two weeks early. And yeah. we want to say thank you to our sponsors, Boss Play, which is a escape room out in Oceanside, California. If you're around there, you should go check them out. That is and, correct. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at IcingThatPod. That Pod.